Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In uh, this video, I'll be unboxing the new SG-108 drone made by ZLRC. It comes in this nice travel case that sort of resembles the same one that comes with the Mavic Mini Fly More combo. Let's unzip it and see what we got in here. All right, here's a top foam cover that protects the drone. On the top, we have a uh, mesh pocket that contains all of the accessories. Here we have the manual, which seems to be in Spanish, and I do believe that it has other versions in other languages, including one in English. Here we have a set of extra props, two of them to be exact. And in this bag, we have this cool mini Phillips screwdriver and a white USB cord to charge both the battery and uh, the controller. Here's the drone itself. As you can see, it looks a lot like the Mavic Mini, but in black. It's a very small and compact GPS drone. It has a smart battery with indicator lights to let you know how much battery life you have left when pressing the button, which is nice. And here is your USB charging port. In the front, we have the camera, which films in 1080p and photos at a supposed 4K resolution. The camera can be adjusted up and down electronically via the remote. And here they've added some uh, vent holes to allow some airflow inside in order to prevent overheating, which I think is important. I have to say, I do like how it looks uh, aesthetically on the outside. I think they uh, did a great job design wise, even though it obviously is a clone of the Mavic Mini. Now this thing is very light and weighs only 242 grams, so it's not necessary for you to register it, but I do recommend you doing so. Plus it's only five bucks for three years and your registration number covers multiple drones, so it's definitely worth it. It does have brushless motors, which are very powerful and uh, very durable compared to the cheap cordless brushed motors, which tend to wear out really fast. Now on the bottom of the drone, it has one optical flow sensor for indoor flying. And here's what looks like ultrasonic sensors, but they're just uh, for looks. The battery looks pretty decent from the looks of it. It's also lightweight and it's a 7.4 volt, 2200 milliamp. Uh, lithium ion which is supposed to give you a 25 minute uh, flight time all right so let's check out the remote now the first thing that stands out here are the thumb rockers uh, they do appear to be made from aluminum and not some uh, cheap plastic ones painted to look like aluminum so that's pretty nice for a budget drone at this price these are the antennas on the top and uh, one of them is a valid working antenna with a wire running through it and as you can see here, not sure if you guys can see that, the other antenna uh, does not have one. The two bottom handles unfold out and can fit any Android or uh, iOS smartphone uh, of a different sizes. I'm pretty sure you can fit an, an iPhone 11 Pro uh, with no problem. The joystick gimbals are spring-loaded and they feel pretty tight. This button here is for activating the GPS. Uh, this is your takeoff landing. This is for photo and video. And this is the return to home button. On the top right are your buttons for adjusting camera. And over here we have the speed control button and the headless mode. On the bottom is the USB charging port to charge the controller, which I actually like. It also has a nice uh, grip to it. And here's the controller's battery indicator lights. Now I'm not expecting spectacular video to come out of this quad's camera. Uh, what I'm more interested in is how uh, it performs in the air with these uh, brushless motors. So we'll see how that goes. So to turn it on, you press and hold the button on the battery for two to three seconds, and you'll start to see the front and rear lights flashing on and off. The green lights on the back will stop flashing once the GPS is activated. 
The blue light on the front will stop scanning when the drone has been paired to the controller, as you just saw. Now that it's paired, you can go into the app and start it up. Here you have the app instructions, flight logs, settings, calibration, and start buttons. Just hit the start button to enter the app's interface. You do have to make sure that you uh, connect your phone's Wi-Fi to the controller first. So just go into your phone's Wi-Fi settings and choose the network uh, with the name 5G or 4K in it. Now you can go back into the app and restart it. You'll get a prompt safety message on screen. Just click confirm to uh, bypass it. This right here is for adjusting the camera's angle up and down. As you can see by my hand dance, the uh, camera does work, so that's good. To calibrate the gyro, you just move the two joysticks like this, and the front lights will blink five times. The black lights, however, will stay flashing twice every two seconds. Now to manually start the motors, in altitude mode, you just move both uh, joysticks like this. To turn the motors off, you just move the left joystick up once. Now for some reason it didn't work for me, so I had to go and press the emergency stop button on the app to disarm the motors. I even tried to do this to see if it would stop. Uh, anyway, I do like that it has a stop option, just in case. Just make sure that you don't press it while you're flying, or the drone will drop from the sky. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, and don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell on the side to be notified when I upload a new video. Alright, see you on the next one.